I'm sure a good portion of you guys, at least the ones who are still in some kind of fucking academia, be it high school or college, that this Monday, which for me is today, but for you is yesterday, uh, whatever, was a bit of a wake-up call for you. You, know, you got one week off to chill, don't even think about any of your assignments. I mean, you know, I make this little analogy a lot. If you were to do the time, uh, if you were to do like a screen time analyzation of my brain on my thoughts, uh, well, obviously top spot is going to be anything lifting related, be it the lifts, weight, recovery, is just tr different kinds of training, whatever. But nowhere on that fucking list in this past week was canvas. And I tell you what, I was, uh, I was not complaining about that one bit. But getting, getting close to done. Getting close to done. Just a couple more classes left. And then we can really just focus on what fucking matters. The gym. Getting out of what we're going to do today. I'm going to change my chest day up a little bit. And see how I like it. So typically, if you've watched any of these chest days, I mean, even since the beginning of the year, uh, obviously the volume has been kind of fluctuating a little bit. But the chest days themselves have pretty much been identical in their basic outlined framework, skeleton, whatever you want to call it. Always starting with some kind of heavy pressing movement, followed by more isolation, potentially like cable press or flies or things like that. And then that's pretty much it. But today I think I'm going to change it up a little instead of just starting off with like incline bench which is really the only heavy pressing movement i have available at this gym i'm gonna start off with just cable press so rather than start off with a set where what i'm really trying to maximize is well i guess just the reps with as much weight as i can handle you know i want to do three and a half plates uh, potentially four plates in the future not for the sake of doing four but just for the sake of pushing myself and doing a set for the most amount of weight that I can get you know around eight reps with and as you do that over time especially in a bulk you should progressively overload you know so the point isn't necessarily for me to hit a certain bench number obviously I mean I do feel kind of cool like benching three plates and whatever but the point is really just doing a heavy set for as much weight as I can do for about 8 to 10. That's kind of what I like. But instead of just doing that today, I'm going to start off with a lighter squeezing movement first. So instead of going into those heavy pressing you know, incline bench, unpumped, warm, but unpumped, I'm going to do a few sets of, uh, I think, cable press. I, it's, that may be subject to change. I've got to actually get in there and see what's open and you know what I feel like but I'm gonna do one or two sets actually no I think two of you know a movement where I'm not gonna like if I fail a rep I'm not worried about crushing myself to uh you know with a bunch of weight on the bar so cable press maybe machine bench I've got a seat but I'm gonna start off with two sets of that and then go do incline so if when I move on an incline bench you know the weight suffers and I can only do, you know, 275 instead of, you know, let's say I'm fresh and I could get 365. That doesn't really bother me. You know? um, really, the only thing that I'm trying to maximize, and I'd say if you sort of follow this rule of thumb, it'll be conducive with some gains. I mean, maybe, of course, I'm not saying in complete factuality, but I kind of believe it. If you can just maximize the intensity of every set, then you know, to an extent, I don't think pushing the weight will matter too much. You know, of course, I want to have variability in my training, so I like really heavy sets, kind of offset with lighter squeezing sets. But if you were to just do moderate weight, or if I were to just go in here and do, you know, like 225, okay, maybe not 225, that might be a little bit too light for me. But let's say 275, incline, stuff like that. And instead of just seriously going for as much weight as possible, 
you know, I think if I were to just do more controlled reps, squeeze, and of course go hard and still finish with a pump, you know, I do think I would still get results. But either subconsciously I don't think that is going to be the best case scenario for me, or maybe I just don't like the idea of not doing a lot of heavy weight. But if you go into the gym and you make sure that, let's say you do eight sets for your workout, or you do an eight set chest day, it's it does whatever amount of volume you do. The weight, let's say you're off, you're not as strong as you typically are, maybe you had a bad day, whatever, it's just something's off. You know, if you can't do your most amount of weight for eight reps, and you have to do like 50 pounds less, but you still push yourself to failure, you know, you still actually do a crazy set, then that's a good set, you know? I think what I'm really trying to say is don't focus so much on the numbers themselves that you're lifting. Focus more so on trying to make each step that you do you know, push yourself to ideally you know, max exertion every time. I'm not a perfect lifter. I don't do that every time, but I want to. I feel like uh, I'm getting deja vu. I've said this, that exact little phrase before. You know, as time progresses, like, I mean, especially back when I was a beginner, I used to do 25 fucking sets for a single body part per day. So 25 sets of tricep pushdowns with different handles, of course. I know for a fact those sets were not all pushing it as hard as I could. And over the course of time, as I've gotten smarter and just trained for longer, I've sort of gotten more adept at being able to go that hard. You know, pushing yourself like that on your sets, it is a skill which you will improve over time. But I think that's enough of this little chat. Let's uh, just park this small phone and get started. As predicted, and luckily these two cables were actually at my disposal and I could take them. Honestly, in here, as packed as it'll get, finding one cable is often, uh, let's just say, troublesome. But moderate weight, I'm already warm. Let's just throw nearly the whole stack around for you know, one full set. Maybe two. We'll see how it goes. Was a sufficient fucking burn and stretch. Let's go find a fucking rack. Start barbell benching. Alright, so three plates feels like a pretty solid working weight after those two sets of cable presses. So, <laughs> right height, safety is to, you know, catch me so I can actually go to failure. And now all I gotta do is fucking <laughs> get the cough out of my throat and then. Get hyped up. Let's do one more just like that. Yeah. 
I think that's enough incline. Let's move on to, I don't know, flies or something. I, we're nearly done, man. Heavy pressing, squeezing cable sets. So now I think, I'll, well, let's just do this one set and decide. If I feel like I want to do another one, then I will. But if I'm satisfied after this one, then that'll be all she wrote. So pretty much as heavy as I can go for a good set. You know, just because you're doing a cable fly, it's a little bit of a, I don't want to say dainty movement, but bench is what sort of tells you to go heavy. And flies, usually, you really emphasize the squeeze. I say you can go pretty heavy on flies, as heavy as you can manage at least. But let's get this set done and either go check the pump or do another one. Let's do one more. Yeah, one more and let's make this one a little bit of a, let's call it drop slash superset. So portion A of the set, normal flies, then drop the weight, bend over, bend over flies. You know, same sort of feeling. All I'm doing is flexing my pecs, right? Pulling my fucking elbows together. But I kind of like doing this little normal and then bent over. I just feel like it really pumps me up all the fucking way. And I don't know if you've noticed, but that's kind of the whole fucking point of getting in here, for me at least. <sighs> Okay. Oh, I guess. Let's go check the chest pump and discuss. I, I'd call that lift satisfactory. I don't know if I'd go so far as to call it exemplary. I mean, sets were good. I do feel pretty pumped, but I felt more pumped than this. And I don't know if it's necessarily just because of what I did in the gym. I really think I didn't prep outside the gym. I did not drink enough water today. I think that's a factor of my preparation, which I failed to hit. I feel like I've been on a bad streak. I've said that for like two days in a row. I gotta get my fucking shit together. But regardless of, you know, your pre-existing state before you get into the gym, I mean, this pump is still gonna be fucking freaky. But the fact that I know it could be freakier is telling me to fucking, you know, man up and drink more of my fucking water. But let's see how we look. Oh my goodness. So you, you tell me. Are we pumped? Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're fucking pumped, all right. <laughs> oh, man. Now, this is just nice. The lift is over. I'm going to do calves, but the basic part of the lift is over. And now I just get to enjoy. Oh. What else is there for chest? I mean, fucking most muscular? Oh my goodness. Love it. So, all these veins, I got to get rid of these. I got to say fucking goodbye to these by way of putting on some more body fat. And not just for fun. Of course, I don't want to fucking put more body fat on than I need to. But, you know, if I actually eat as much food as I can take in to gain, you know, muscle at as fast of a rate on this bulk as possible, which is kind of the whole fucking point, then I should be eating enough to get a bit softer. You know, I'm not here for a lean bulk this time around. You know, maybe I'll do that in the future. But I want to be soft 
at the end of it. So that I actually have a reason to do a little cut, a little break before I do the next bulk. If you, uh, if you kind of follow my, follow my logic there. Oh, okay. Lift over, pump checked. Gonna go to calves and then I'll see you in the freaking car. I have got to replenish my fucking kitchen. I need a variety of a variety of things. I'm not going to record in there because I'm actually in a little bit of a rush. Uh, but speaking of specials, I've got a pretty poor track record. But did somebody say full day of eating? Did somebody say that? I, just, I don't know. I thought I heard that. Keep an eye out. Keep... Just, just keep an eye out. I'm not saying tomorrow or the next day, but just keep your eyes peeled. Just a little bit of a... Oh, that guy just really tried to fucking sideswipe me. Uh, just keep your eyes peeled for it. You know, it is, it is a pretty big fucking part of this whole bulk. But, again, I mean, you know it's going to be just as fucking silly as always with treats and meats and a variety of dairy products as per usual. I guess you'll just have to wait and see. Solid chest day. I am... I, you know what I need? I need to get on a solid sleep schedule. So I gotta get home, finish off all the rest of my meals, chill, play a little games, and I go to sleep. I, I'll try to enjoy my free time for now before things ramp up up until finals week. I feel like I have an interesting... And let's call it poor style of studying. It's almost like, I don't know, maybe I'm just fucking lazy, but I need the pressure of like, okay, I have to study in the next one day or I'm going to fail. I almost need that to make me start fucking looking over practice problems and stuff. I'm trying to change that up, but that's just kind of how it ends up being. Like if this is my urgency level, it's like, eh, eh rah, 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 rah. two days before, holy shit. I'll, I'll work on that on my own. That's unrelated to lifting. But solid chest day, I, I don't know. I don't know if I loved that starting off with the cable press. It just didn't really, I don't know, I feel like it didn't really hit me like I like. But I just still stuck with it just for the sake of trying something different than normal. But yeah. I think I still like starting off with the heavy stuff and then moving on to lighter squeezing movements. At least for chest. You know, I feel like I train every muscle in a slightly different way. Like, with something like chest, I think what I, well, not even I think, I know that I like heavy pressing in the beginning. You know, get progressively lighter as I get weaker until I feel like I want to move on to fly cable press based movements to you know, really get a good burn and pump. But for something like biceps, I kind of feel like I just like doing you know, as much weight as I can handle for the whole workout. You know, so it would be as if I just stayed on incline bench for all five or six sets or whatever. Like that's kind of how I do buys. Even though I change up the movements, you know, even if I'm doing a preacher curl or a normal dumbbell curl, every set is pretty much as much as I can handle for about ten to twelve. You know, with triceps, sometimes I start off with lighter squeezing movements and then move on to some heavy pressing. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of how I go about it. And part, eh, well, I don't know. I think it's really just kind of a feeling thing. You know, like, I'm sure all of us, even though we all have the same, you know, fucking kind of brain, and we got the same sort of muscles, we still kind of think differently. You know, everybody's approach to everything and their thought process, thought processes are all slightly different. You know, so following that logic, it would kind of imply that we all sort of have different mental cues of actually flexing whatever muscle we're hitting. So, you know, for one dude, maybe his chest days are the best and he can go the hardest when he starts off with more of like a machine or a cable press or something like that and then move on to something like barbell or smith and then finish with flies again. Or, you know, somebody like me, maybe they like really pushing at the beginning after a proper warm-up and then finishing with, you know, lighter squeezing movements. So, 
And to that extent, it's just kind of, well, not even just kind of, it's going to benefit you to try out different sort of styles like that and then see what actually works. Or maybe not even what works, but what you like. Right. Don't, um, don't forget, I'm not just following some random routine which was written out for me and, you know, I'm not, like, behind it 100%. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I got to go do this workout. And, you know, all the stuff that I do, this whole routine... I like doing it, so it's not hard for me to keep doing it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you've got a workout, and maybe you've written it out, or you copied it from, like, a different YouTuber, or, well, not, I guess everybody, they're a lifter before they're a YouTuber, but, like, a different lifter, a bodybuilder, whatever, and you just sort of copy their lifts blindly, and, you know, for you, you're always just like, ugh, God, I fucking hate this back day, ugh. Is it you hate training back? Or maybe are you just doing a back workout that just doesn't necessarily jive with your fucking build? You know, we're thinking about. I could definitely do a workout, which for someone, they would fucking love. Like, they would love it. Like, all sorts of random drop sets and stuff or whatever. But for me, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this. I'd rather do this and that and whatever else. You know, so. If you can sort of try to rearrange your workouts into such a way that you're doing things that you like. You like the workout you're doing, and you can sort of you know, get hyped up to do each set back to back to back. And it's not going to be difficult for you to go in on a day-to-day -day basis. Right? It's not hard to play three hours of Warzone because you like doing it. So if you've got a workout routine that is just fucking just feels like a chore, you don't like it, the set's just, uh, you know, you just try something else. You know, try changing it up. Because nobody, I mean, it's fucking, it's hard to do shit on a day-to-day -day basis if you don't like doing it. You know, that's what really would take some discipline. But I almost feel like I'm fucking spoiled. You know, when it comes to, like, uh, even when you feel like shit, you gotta go in and do the work. You know, I don't, I, I do, I can relate to that, I can get hyped up by that. But I don't really relate to it. Because this is what I want to do, it's what I like. And the routine is kind of catered to what I like doing as well as what I think is going to be beneficial for me in a, a progress standpoint. So, just, uh, I, I don't know, man. I guess just keep that in mind. So if you got a particular part of your training that you don't necessarily love, you know, maybe try to just tweak it, work it around your own, uh, what's the word I'm even trying to think of? Work it around your own per preferences. And, you know, get into a groove. Now, that does not mean, that does not mean that you should go, you know, cardio does not fucking, I'm not built for cardio. I'm not built for it. Nah, 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 that doesn't work for me. Get the fuck away from me. Oh my God. Look, man. It's not just me telling you to do cardio. You know for a fucking fact in your mind, yeah, I should probably be doing it. If you can look at your life, and this goes for fucking everything, and you can see, you can sort of think of something or some kind of responsibility or whatever, and you know for a fact, yeah, fuck, I should be doing this, and then you don't do it, I mean, fuck, you're just cheating yourself. And that's not coming from me as like, as though I'm always the fucking most responsible dude. There's a lot of shit where I'm like, oh, fuck, I should, or I should be doing this, and I don't do it. But when it comes to the lifts, since I want as much fucking gains as possible, that's my little, uh, let's just call it specialty. That's my fucking specialty. You know, you could yell at me for two hours to fucking unload the dishwasher and I'll just, I'll do it later. But, <laughs> holy shit. I mean, no one ever has had to tell me to go to the gym. Honestly, the thought of it is almost fucking preposterous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm glad I can say that and actually fucking mean it. But I gotta go to Kroger, load up the kitchen, get rid of all the... Ah, oh, fuck. This is another thing. I know I should call my landlord and have her come send somebody to fix my garbage disposal. But I'm fucking lazy. Shit. Uh, I'll just get some Drano and deal with it later. But cardio in the morning, back day tomorrow. I'm trying to reach the width of a 747. And then that's pretty much fucking it. I'll see you next time.